everyone. Welcome to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, master trainer and studio owner of Function Pilates located in Tempe, Arizona. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a default series of beginner exercises to place in your stretching category. I'm working on a balanced body piece of equipment and the default spring series I have is one red spring, which should equal one spring if you're working on a different model. I understand as a student this can be overwhelming and challenging as you are piecing together exercises for your clients. In these videos and tutorials, I'm here to help and assist you through the learning process. So if you do like the videos, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I hope to have you along the journey. The first part of Eve's lunge is setting your client up in the right position. The left foot is secured with toes curled under, pressing against the shoulder block. The right foot is on the floor aligned with the metal bolt outside the wooden frame. This is just below the foot bar. As they press out into a deep lunge, cue them to bend their right knee a lot and watch if they are keeping the knee directly over the ankle. Let them know to keep their arms straight and chest lifted. This will avoid the spine collapsing and decrease the chance of developing unnecessary tension in the neck and the shoulders. The second part of the stretch is straightening the right leg into their version of the splits. Let them know that the stretch will transfer from the front of the left hip and into the back of the right leg. Have them score off their hips to enhance the hamstring stretch much more. And just remind them to breathe. There is no right or wrong with their breathing technique. As a bonus, take the left foot onto the opposite shoulder block. This stretch is gonna be great for those with super tight hip flexors. Tailbones are tucked under, chest is lifted, and keep that right knee directly above the ankle. Slowly bring the carriage in, and now as a safety precaution, cue them to walk around the machine to set themselves up for the other side. Now if your client has any knee injuries, we can always place a pillow, a ball, some sort of knee pad underneath that right knee. You're going to repeat all your cues from the first side and reiterate the lunge should be felt in the front of the hip flexor. Now as they straighten out that left knee, this is where the stretch will be shifted from the front of the hip flexor into the back of the left leg, into the hamstring. And you may need to show them where that muscle is in case they are confused. A lot of the times clients get confused with what the quadriceps and the hamstrings are. So I like to show them that it's in the back of the thigh. Then we can end with the bonus stretch. Once again, for those with tight hip flexors, it's optional, it does not need to be done. And depending on how much time you have or what your client needs, anywhere from one to two of these repetitions is great. And that finishes up the beginner stretch series. Follow me in the full body integration category next. 